We're at the uh, sixth European Freshwater Turtle Breeders' Convention, which will be held on the 3rd and 4th of March 2012. Mrs. Frances Baines is going to be giving us a, a talk about ultraviolet light and light how, how it affects reptiles. Um, this is her display that she's putting in the side margins. And what we'll do is we'll talk through some of the readings that she's got and how she's taken them. Frances, could you talk us through how you did the readings, please? Right, OK, this is um, a typical compact lamp. This is actually a Zume Reptis on 10. Um, the Arcadia D3 Plus is very similar. And um, basically, you've got a classic pattern of light. T to decide the quality of a lamp, you need to know the spectrum, which is the quality, and you also need to know the quantity, and not just how much there is at a certain distance, but also the spread of the lamp. So what I do is I plot an ISO irradiance chart, which is like the gradient, like the UV gradient, and it shows you the shape of the beam, which of course is invisible because it's ultraviolet. Now you can see the problem with compact lamps. It's true of all compact lamps, however good the quality, and that's that the gradient is very, very steep. So to get a UV index reading, uh, I'm using a, a 6.5 solar meter here, um, to get a UV index reading of, of 0 0.5, 0 0.6, that's like dense shade. So you can see at any reasonable distance from this lamp, the readings are very low. And to get readings like sunlight, we're talking about UV index 3 and above, you have to be really unacceptably close to the lamp. Now you can improve it a little bit by putting it in a dome reflector. Um, but again, you've got a very small area. Um, this was actually a, a graph taken in a dome, but it's a quite a small zone. So it's very good for very small vivaria or terraria. But for any larger animals that need to be further away and you need a bigger setup, it's perhaps an impractical choice. Now, a slightly more, um, a slightly better choice is the fluorescent tube, because here you've got a big, wide, long beam, um, very soft gradient, and this is an Arcadia D3 tube fitted with a reflector. And again, the Zoom Ed Reptis on 10 is very similar. And with this, you do get a very gentle gradient from shade, UV index 1 or 2, up towards sunlight. But again, you have to be really quite close. You have to be within 6 to 8 inches, even with a reflector, to get anything approaching um, a sunlight effect. So these are very good for um, reptiles that live in the shade, but perhaps not quite so good for creating um, a sunbeam. But one of the latest things which I'd like to show you is the Arcadia D3 T5. Now, T5 UV lamps have only just come out, and as far as I know, Arcadia are the only company making them um, for sale in this country. And as you can see from the light, it's very, very bright. And if you fit it with a reflector, you can see there's a, a vast difference in the UV. The UV is boosted to the equivalent of a mercury vapour lamp, which is quite extraordinary. The spectrum is very good, so you haven't got any unwanted short wavelength light. And as you can see, for the first time really from a fluorescent tube, we're getting sunlight readings, UV index 3, 4, 5, um, at a distance of about a foot. Now that makes that a very practical lamp for setting up a large basking area for something like a bearded dragon or a reptile that would normally bask in sunlight. So I think this is a, a, quite a revolution. In and of, of course if you've got animals that need less sunlight... Just put it further away. Put it further and away. You could probably, for a shade dwelling species, you could probably have it two, two and a half feet above the animal. So be very, very good. So perfect for the really big tortoises. Um, ones big that, vivaria. Yes, ones that don't need a patch of sunlight, you can use it for the shade method of, of um, supplying UV. Thank you.